good, you two? Welcome to episode one of Berg Ventures, where I'll be taking you with me while I conceptualize and create a custom piece of art for an art challenge that was released by Garden Comics and Vanna Blacksoul. He has just recently released a new comic series based around a character named Wanted Man. So today I'm actually going to be making a clay sculpture. I think I want to do something adding an environment to it as well, but come with me while I make something dope for this challenge. Hopefully we win. Winner gets $200, Venmo, PayPal, so um, that would be nice. And I always just have fun creating pieces from artists that inspire me as well. Uh, the character design and everything that they're doing at Garden Comics, they do show a lot of behind the scenes and, and things like that, so that's super awesome. But let's get into the process. So as you can see on the design process or the concept, what I'm looking to do is have Wanted Man be posted up on some sort of wood structure where he is almost being attacked by the creature that is in the wasteland. Now, what I need to do that though is I'm thinking of a piece of wood or something like that. I was in my studio earlier this will be another YouTube video where I totally redesign this whole place. So that would be cool. But I was in here earlier and I saw that this little piece of wood right here broke off. And this actually would play as a great, oh, let me get some better light. This would be a perfect little structure to set up for the, you know, the image that I'm trying to create. Uh, with the character and then of course uh, with this behind it sorry if my camera movement's a little weird but we'll get it under control and have it a little more consistent um so yeah this is the first step of what i'm doing i'm going to take this this will now be my base of where i'm setting up the character and how he's gonna look when of course you know the if the camera was in front of him more so and you see these monster coming from from behind him so shout out let's get to this next step so now i'm gonna go and see if i can find a shoe box but if you guys want to meet my rusty neighborhood cat that i feed milk to her name's isabel and she seems harmless but i actually caught her yesterday creep up on another cat and swan dive attack and start a cat fight with her which was pretty crazy because she seems so mellow when she's at my place but i actually have some xerox boxes that might work perfect and they're empty and yeah i think this would actually be great um i don't know if you saw it so what i'll end up doing to this is cutting the front side out so that when we shoot the pictures, it'll already have that depth made with being on the far end of the box. And then we could also layer things um, in front of the character so that it has that effect as well. All right, next steps. So I started working on the piece. I set up my time-lapse and my makeshift bird's eye view for my work desk here. And I accidentally set it to where the face feature was up. So it just had a white wall for about, me working for about 15 minutes. So pick up where I left off is, I got this box. I cut the front out of it. So now it'll be like a perfect diorama. We'll be able to put this in here. From there, we'll put this character on it and so forth. I'm gonna get him in the position that I'm gonna want him when he's sitting, right? So that if I, when I'm working with this 24 hour setting clay, that if I do a piece and it sets, I'll still be able to work on the next piece um, without having any issues. So we'll have this on here, I'll just back on like that. I'll probably end up light layer of clay right here to just start him off for a sit. 
before that though, cut off this leg. This isn't gonna be here, it's gonna be exposed. So we're gonna pass. Never worked with this clay before, so it's a little bit different. Pretty dry. Um, there's re no real directions on it of needing to use any kind of water to make it, you know, easier to work with. Right now I'm just working on the base of the wanted man where his pants will be. I think getting this piece done um, will be kind of pretty key prior to starting on his body or his face. Play with it so it has a little bit more of that flare like it is a, you know, like it's a garment rather than like spandex kind of thing if that makes sense. So test this here. So as I'm working with it, I'm seeing kind of different things that work. And once I paint it, it'll be, you know, you won't even be able to notice. But it's a texturing that's going to be kind of interesting to do. I don't think it'll be too hard, but I've also never done it, so it'll be new front for me. Now he's just sitting flat, and there's his leg. That leg will be blown off. I'm going to fix the shoe here, and then we'll start building his body. is where I got today. Got the shoe made. Kind of did a little tip there. Can always be edited. Pants, where his leg will be blown off. I'll add more here so it flows better with his full body, but tomorrow we'll do the body and the arms. Looks pretty dope, you too. Welcome to day two of the Wanted Mitten Challenge. I let the clay dry overnight. Still moderately dry, it is a 24 hour drying period, but other than that, it's pretty solid. Um, you can see it's getting there. Um, you can see that there's some light cracking on it, which once I think I lay a couple more layers, it will um, it'll be smoother, which is totally fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to create the body and the arms, and then I'll go ahead and do the face, but let's get to it. So as I was working with it yesterday, I thought it'd be easy if I just started the base, let this kind of dry and then worked with it. After doing that, I discovered that moving this in any way just affects the other clay from yesterday, just because it is still setting, of course. I'm just gonna go ahead and work on this piece by itself today, complete this. And then of course I'll be able to attach the two with one more piece. So yeah, if you're ever working with this stuff, I would work in small areas that you can complete in one day just so you can um, do that. I got a little busy last night, later into the night, so I wasn't able to work on it as much, but in turn, it doesn't matter. We're still here getting it. All right, let's see how this goes. So now I got the other arm attached. I like this one a lot more. It seems so much more flush. This has a little bit, you, know, you can just tell it worked more. Um, once again, I'm gonna put a couple more layers on. I just wanna get the base down and then I can just build off that. Okay, but now we're gonna make the front side of this jacket. I always think to myself that in high school, I wish I would have taken more art classes. I didn't really know art was my thing. Like, I never liked sports, but I never was like, since I'm not a sports guy, I'm an art person. Even though like art was involved with everything that I did, I was always doodling and always making art. But I don't know why I never thought I could do it as a as a career. But you know, once again, you just need the base, so then you can kind of have more freedom when playing with it. So. Got the front side of his shirt. Got the bandana on him. Once again, once it's painted, it will be better. For the most part. I think it looks good so far. Then we're going to attach it to this piece. Which will have him sitting. Let's get it. So, as I went to look back at the reference photo, I forgot that. The face of Wanted Man is not so much, as much as it is that circle just placed there. It 
does have a jagged pattern to it, so I'm gonna add this pattern. But yeah, always be sure to look at your reference photos and so if I would have got farther and I didn't have that and I had to add it, it would have been too dry and then harder to work so with. So I finished the mouth. It didn't come out exactly how I wanted it. It is a little messy. I think once I paint it though, it will allow it to have the definition that I need. I'm kind of still playing with it a little bit, but I think that there's so many other things I could have done. Cool to try something new. I wanted to do some clay stuff for a while. I recently just started collecting like some old school action figures that I had back in the day. I just love the design of them, how they were painted. Um, so I have been wanting to make some sort of clay figure or even update the ones I have. But next step will be the hat. how far I got like I said face is all right once I paint it I think it'll be a little better I'm gonna try and use some water and make this all clean and smooth so current update with where I'm at the clay is cracking more than I'd like that's okay though I've seen that if I just use a little water smooths it out that's fine I finished the two props here I got the dynamite in his hand now. Once again, once I paint it, will be fine. I'm gonna add some thread here once I'm done with everything. So the gun I made being so flat wasn't gonna work. So what I'm doing now, which I should have done, kind of just learn as you go, see what works best. Sometimes you think something's gonna be better, but it's not. But I'm actually just gonna make the gun directly off of this carrot here. So well, I'm now starting on the helmet of the character that his head will be severed. I'm trying to think of how to do it. I'm starting just with these deep cut lines. You might want to update this. Not too proud of it, but for now it's all right. Dynamite will be great. I think he came out pretty good. This helmet will be nice too. I'm gonna add one more little thing right there. Paint that and then it will be on the side like this with a little spinal cord coming out. It's gonna be pretty cool. So I attached the body there. I'm gonna fill in this little abdomen area. It's sitting up there pretty well. So, finishing up day two, this is what I got so far. Pretty much good. Got the bone coming out there, sitting along this. I think I'll paint it tomorrow. Got this little. Good back day three. Looking at the piece, first things first. It's pretty solid. He's a little off balance, but that's totally fine because once we put this piece behind him, he sits he sits fine. Overall though, it looks pretty good. Pretty decent. Just, I'm gonna have this laying on the ground. It's solid, so it'll be fine. I'm gonna right now make a spinal cord that will be coming out of it. Let this dry a little bit longer. I may take some pieces and kind of just lightly fit it in into some of those smaller cracking areas. But all right, yeah, so that's gonna be my next steps. 
dentist told me to stop drinking Red Bull because it's decaying my teeth, but they're so good. So I think once a one a week's not bad, but I'm not addicting. I don't see any next part. Currently looking for some wire that I can use as the base structure for the monster's eye tentacle things. Random shit laying around. Oh, right here. Got this wiring that I'll cut a little bit off and then be able to use it as the base of the neck for the creature. And when you bend it, it keeps it keeps its shape, so that'll be perfect. So I just finished the second eye. That piece is a little bit big but I think when you look at it from the front I think when you look at it from the front and you know and I tried to kind of make this one the same but I just finished up those eyes next up I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this piece here So just finished those two props, colors coming out good. The eyes of the monster are currently drying. Um, I already have some red right here, so I might just do his leg. Liking like that so far. Got a bunch done. Let's see. Got the front painted. Still got his head and hat to do. His foot. And then we'll be able to start on those eyes. repaint it though. I don't like it. So currently setting up the second spot, a lot more weeds over here so when I set the pieces in place, the depth, and I have the camera at the specific angle, they almost look like there's trees or you know whatever kind of foliage. Yeah. 
Edges above him. So I open the images up in my photos app on my iPhone, look through them, saw a couple that I really liked, so I went ahead and edited them. They're different perspectives, one's closer up of the helmet of the character and one's a little bit farther away seeing the full scene. What's up you guys, just finished the Wonder Man piece. Got the photos edited, ready to complete the submission. But I just wanted to show all of the individual pieces by themselves. So here we have the Wonder Man figure, completely done. He's got the dynamite. He's got the little bit of blood on his hands. He's got the gun. The bandolier, I think, or bandolore. Belt, holster, leg completely ripped off. But yeah, this is a completed guy. I'm trying to make sure it's in focus. Sturdy. I like how this clay actually did turn out. Super, super solid now that I'm playing with it and holding it. And then you got your son of a monster helmet with the decapitated neck, spine hanging out. Did a little bit of weathering on the helmet with that pavement color, which came out great and sturdy, holding up. Not even worried if it's gonna, it's gonna break. It did, it did roll around a couple times while I was setting it up and it kind of whispered that test And last but not least, you have the Swamp Dragon eyes completed. And you would only see this portion of it, so. Yeah, overall, everything came out pretty solid. Um, wasn't really rushing it, I was just kind of learning as I go, playing with it. Um, again back doesn't have to have any painting because everything's being shot from the front but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me if you're here the whole time or if you just skip to the end to see the final you know results appreciate you tapping in and yeah as i'm working on this new things come up that i want to do and work on so with that being said, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe. You can follow Wanted Man Garden Comics, everything below. I'll have all of that information there. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. There will be a lot more behind the scenes of my process as these videos are getting made. But I thank you guys so much for everything. One love.